and really, really interesting what he was saying about that he was surprised about how, how windy and, and how wavy it was out there. Yeah, that made me feel a bit better about myself, that if he's saying it's um, hard to control in those conditions. Next race we have is the men's C1 1,000 metre final. And we've got two German athletes going head to head in the middle lanes. We've got the dominance of Sebastian Brendel, 31 year old against the youngster, 23 year old Conran Robin Scheibner, reigning under 23 world champion. That's going to be the really, really interesting battle to look out for in those centre lanes. And don't forget also Ezequias Quiros dos Santos of Brazil, the fastest qualifier with a time of 3.51.307, who's also going to be pushing for that gold medal. You can really see the waves starting to whip up a thousand metres down the course. I think the wind is starting to look a bit stronger now here in Malta Lake in Poznan. Here at this uh, first ICF Canoe Sprint World Cup of 2019. You can see there in lane one, that's Jose Ramon Pellier Cordova of Cuba, just 18 years old. Silver medalist in the C2000 at the Junior World Championships last year and in 2017 as well. And just like the uh, men's K1000 meters, we have got medalists from lanes one to nine really really high quality field here at Malta Lake then lane two that's Poland's Tomasz Kaczor the gold medalist at the World Cup in Montemore in 2016 European silver medalist in 2015 then in lane four as you can see on our screen there that's Brazil's Ezequias Quiros dos Santos the reigning world champion in the C1500 and the C2500 as well. In lane three alongside him, that's China's Wang Hao, who picked up two bronze medals in the C2000 and the C2500 in Duisburg World Cup last year, and a silver in the C2200 in Zeged. Now, here we have one of those two German athletes going out in the middle lanes that's Konrad Robin Scheibner of Germany and Sebastian Brendel of Germany as well Olympic champion in 2012 Olympic champion in 2016 he's won the last four world championships in a row and he's a seven-time European champion as well such a dominant athlete Sebastian Brendel he's not going to want to uh, relinquish his crown in lane seven, that's the Cuban Fernando Diane George Enriquez. In lane eight, that's Maxim Piatrov of Belarus, world championship bronze medalist in the C1 500 in 2015 and 2017 as well. And finally, in lane nine, Martin Fuxa of the Czech Republic. It actually currently holds the world's best time in this event, 3.42.385. And as you can tell, a really, really high caliber competitive field in this final of the men's C1 1000 meters. And they're underway. Really, really big strokes going in early on from Martin Fuchser of the Czech Republic in lane nine. Really high rate from him out though in lane seven and eight. That's Fernando Diane, Jorge Enriquez and Maxime Piatrov. And also going well, that's Wang Hao of China. But with the early lead, 100 metres in, that's Sebastian Brendel, the 31-year-old German. Ezequias Quiros dos Santos of Brazil going close alongside him, along with Corin, Conrad Robin Scheibner. You can see in these events they paddle on different sides. Some paddle on the left, some put their paddles in on the right. And at the moment, I think it looks like Martin Fuchser, who's also going well in lane nine. The reigning European champion in the C1000 and the C1500. Difficult to see from this angle, really, who it is that is nosing into the lead. So, but Wang Hao of China is looking really, really strong. Qualified second in the semi-final. 
but at the moment as we approach the 500 meter mark this race could really go anyway all of these athletes are in contention for the medals and they're so so close they're a lot more closer in this race than the other k1 men's race so um the, uh, I'm sure by the time they get to 750, the race will change dramatically. And I suppose even as, a, even as a K1 athlete, Jess, you must have heard the name Sebastian Brendel oh, an yeah. awful lot in, during, during your career. Yeah, he's incredibly consistent. And what's interesting here is that He's born in 1988, and then you have um, Jose from Cuba, who's born in 2001, and I'm sure Sebastian was already paddling by the time he was born. Yeah, so, so yeah, 13, 14, 13 years, my math is not great, but 13 years between, yeah, these no, athletes on this. Than, oh yeah, 13 years, yeah. <laughs> there, in lane two, that's Tomat Kaczo of Poland. European silver medalist in 2015. They've got 400 metres left to go now and the field is really starting to spread out. Out in lane one, it looks like the Cuban, Jose Ramon Pellier Cordova, who is in the lead. That's the 18-year-old that Jess was just talking about. Silver in the C2000 at the Junior World Championships last year. Now really showing his quality in the individual discipline as well. They've got 250 metres to go. Really interesting race out in lanes one and two between Pellier Cordova of Cuba and Kachor of Poland. Still going well though in lane nine. Martin Fuchser of the Czech Republic. But who is going to put the power in over the last 200 metres? Has Sebastian Brendel got more to push through the field? Has Conrad Robin Scheibner got any more to pass these athletes and break into the medals? This is going to be a very, very exciting last 100 metres here in Poznan. Wow. Kiros Dos Santos from Brendel really starting to put the power down but Pellier Cordova of Cuba still in the lead Thomas Capture still in silver but uh, Brendel is starting to push forward can Brendel break into the medals it will be Pellier Cordova of Cuba who takes the gold the silver will be between Tomasz Kaczor of Poland and Martin Fuchser of the Czech Republic. And I don't think Brendel or Conrad Robin Schiavna or Ezekiel Queiroz dos Santos of Brazil really had enough over the last 200 metres to claw back the distance that those top three athletes had put on them. And it's really interesting, isn't it, Jess, to see the, the dynamic of, um, of, of the racing and who decides to go out hard and see who decides to, to hold back into the last 200 metres. Yeah, you, could, you couldn't tell from that race at the beginning who was going to win that. And that's just so impressive for an 18-year-old to win a race full of probably, I'm guessing some of his legends that he looks up to so it's incredible and really really exciting for Cuba as well to have a young up and coming athlete like that Cuba not necessarily I mean, they've got a good a good heritage in, in C1 racing but not necessarily always world beaters so fantastic for them to have a young athlete really uh, really putting his mark down especially in this year where they're looking to qualify boats for the Olympic Games Oh, what an assured performance, what confidence for such a young athlete to start to put the power down at about 500 metres and continue to lead it out and keep enough in the tank to hold off any competition over the last 100 metres. Really see the focus in his eyes, focusing towards the finish line, not looking at where his paddle's going. What a close, close race. Pellier caught over taking the gold. It was Fuchser, it looked like, who got the silver. And Tomasz Kaczor of Poland with the bronze. And interesting to see the athletes in the outside lanes picking up the medals. It's normally spearheaded with the, with the athletes who qualified fastest, qualified first in the centre lanes. So we have uh, the gold there for Jose Ramon Pelé Cordova of Cuba. The time of 3.45.142, a really fast time. Just